Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning, everybody. Um, I have just woken up, as you can probably tell by looking at me, um, and I thought I would try to do a day in the life video today. Um, I love seeing a day in the life videos from other fellow YouTube um, people, so I thought maybe I would try to take y'all to the rock mine. Um, my back is not completely healed, but it's, I think it's okay enough for me to just go walk around the rock mine and we'll see what, you know, we'll see what I find. I won't be able to do any digging, but we had some rain here. And, um, if you don't know, rain is the best thing for rock mining because it, you know, it washes the mud off and you can see little, little tiny, um, pieces of the crystal stick out through the dirt. So that makes it really easy to find. So we had some rain a few days ago. And my back wasn't quite ready for me to go in it rain, but it's only been a few days and it's been so cold here. I'm hoping there haven't been a lot of people down there, but we'll see. So I'm going to take a bath, get dressed, and then we will head out to the rock mine. Okay, see you later. Hey everybody, so I made it to the rock mine. I am down here in beautiful South Carolina. Let me show you around. This is the rock mine, and it's pretty big. I don't know how many acres it is, maybe six or so, but um, it's beautiful. And let me see if I can find a crystal in the ground to show you um, how I find them. I hope you can see. Um, you basically just look for something shiny. Oh, come on. Of course, there's not gonna be one when I've got you on, on camera. I got the camera on. Okay, let me lean down here. Let's see. I gotta tell y'all, this is one of my most favorite places in the whole wide world. Is that anything? I can't really see because I'm showing it to you. That's a little tiny one, I think. Um, let's see. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see. Oh, where are they? Oh, okay, maybe this is something. No. Oh, I tell you, it's a workout. It is a workout. There's one, but it's not a very, it's not a very good one. Can you see the sparkles in it? That's why they're so hard to find, because they're covered in dirt. And you just look for the sparkles. See? See the sparkles and then you pick them up and wash them off so i'm going to try my luck here um and i'll be back in a little while let you know what it, wait what is that uh-oh uh-oh that is a little tiny tiny piece that's purple that's amethyst i hope you can see it see the tip Right there, little camera focus. Sheesh, I don't know. Okay guys, wish me luck, I'll be back. Okay, so I had to change spots and because I couldn't get that big rock out because the permafrost is still on it and I'm honestly, I'm just not strong enough. So I came over here and we're just gonna see what we can find because I want y'all to see a good one. Um, there's a big rock right here that has a little bit on it but that's not quite what we're looking for. So, I wish I could do this live and y'all could, if y'all spotted one, you could say, look to the left, look to the right. Okay, here's one right here. I don't have my gloves on. Okay, it's not a very good one, I'm afraid. Of course, I think all crystals are good, but I've gotten to where I've got so many, I don't wanna take ones that I can't use unless I'm gifting them. And this one, see how it's really, it's kind of heavy. Unless, you know, it's one that I really, really want, there's no point in putting it in my um, bag because it's gonna weigh it down. But you can see the crystals. And I think I see something over here. Yep, there's something right there. It's going to be a little one. Now, the little ones are fun. There's lots of things you can do with the little ones. Where am I? Oh, sorry. Sorry, YouTube. Um, you can make 
refrigerator magnets with them, jewelry, um, all sorts of things, especially if they have a really flat base. This one does not. It's a little too wide for that. Oh, look right here. See this? There's a little quartz crystal point. It's a little one. I try not to be greedy. So, and a lot of times when I find something, I will lay it on a rock for a child to find. Or I'll bury it back into the earth. Because, you know, maybe they're not done growing. And, you know, I do believe they are beings. So, you know, you got to be respectful. And sometimes I leave them little presents. I'll make an offering down here. I'll leave a strand of hair or, you know, pour some wine into the ground. Just because, you know, I am taking things from here. So I want to do it with respect. Okay, I guess I can move so y'all can look at something else. I wish y'all I I could see me right now. I'm like, like laying down in the dirt. It's hilarious. And you know, who would have ever thought that I would have been a rock miner because, or an amateur rock miner, because I am actually quite the girly girl. And y'all see how dirty I get at the end of this. Okay, here's something down here. It's not well formed. But it is quartz crystal. Okay, I don't think I can get back up and... Oh, there's one right here too. It's a little one. Okay, we gotta keep looking everyone. Alright, bye. Hey everybody. Okay, so I moved again. That's part of rock mining. You have to keep moving. And I think I'm gonna try to dig a little, even though... Ooh, a leaf blew on you. Try to dig a little, even though... I'm not supposed to, but y'all won't tell my neurologist, will you? Okay, so my pick is acting up, and I'm just going to have to deal with it. It keeps sliding down. But I was thinking on the way, on the drive down, I was like, you know, this might be really boring um, video. You know, me just digging for rocks, but... You know, I thought maybe we could talk about talk about something while I look for rocks. Well, that's got a that's got a greenish tint. So I'm gonna hold on to that. I don't know what that is. I gotta ask someone if it's barrel or not. It shouldn't be down here, but you never know what you'll find here. Let me see. Anyway, I was thinking maybe we could talk about if any of y'all. Um, experienced magic when you were a child. I did. I had some moments where I experienced magic. Um, just like when I used to go outside and play. You know, it was just me and I was alone in the backyard. I used to like have these ceremonies. And you know, I grew up in a, um, a I've told y'all this a million times, I grew up in a Christian church. But I would I would like play communion, which is not unusual, but I would like include the animals and stuff and be really aware of the sounds of the animals. And I don't know, and I, I just could feel it in the air when I was a child and I would do stuff like that, like play ritual. And I was just wondering if any of y'all ever had any experiences like that. And I think I even knew when I was a child that I was a witch, but. You know, when you're a child, you're told that witchcraft doesn't exist, or that it's evil, and there's no magic in the world. You know? Children are so special. And we as adults just try to take their magic away. We really do. Uh-oh, I hear a rock. But, um, I know the first time I ever really started digging into witchcraft and I, I probably told you this before in one of my videos I don't know um I was in English class in middle school or high school maybe we were reading the Salem witch trials and I broke out in goosebumps all over I just knew that there was some sort of message in that I mean I just it was insane oh there's a rock so let's see what this is. Hmm. 
No, just a rock. Nothing good. I want to find something for y'all. But I'm also, I mean, I even, I remembered my dreams better when I was a child, too. I can still remember dreams that I had from childhood. And now it's a lot harder for me to remember, remember my dreams. You know? I'm not exactly sure why that is. Oh, there's a little one. Okay. Don't know. It looks like it's going to be smoky. But it's pretty. I'll keep that one. So there's a guy about a hundred feet from me. I'm just wondering what he thinks because I'm just over here just in gap, you know, talking to myself, digging rocks. Oh well, right. What we won't do for our YouTube friends. Okay, here's another rock, and it is oh. It is something. Yeah, I'll show you a little bit. But I'm going to leave it here. I think it can grow into something better. So, anyway, when I was a teenager, you are going to have to forgive me. I'm just going to babble on here while I'm looking for rocks. When I was a teenager, I dabbled with um, the tarot, and I got amazing results. I really did, but... My parents found them and had a heart attack and friends of the family, which they were kind of right, told my mother that it was going to open up gateways. You know, I didn't know what I was doing with them, which can be possible, I suppose, but tarot cards are not evil for sure. This is one that it's got just a little, just a little, little tiny bit on it. It's too big to keep for just a little bit. So, me and my parents would throw them out. And I, of course, would go buy them again. And I did that off and on. And then when I got, you know, real religious, um, you know, like in my 20s, like with the church, because I was searching for something, you know, I would go back and forth, back and forth. Um, I kept being drawn back to the tarot cards and the witchy books and stuff, but... It's funny how when we're younger, our adolescence and our childhood, we know what we are. It's when we get older and we start listening to other people that we kind of lose sight of that. So today, I'm going to try to stay in a frame. I'm trying to try to keep a child's mindset, you know? Like, a lot of times I come down here and I get all excited about what I'm going to be fine. And you know what? What I'm going to find, I almost get greedy about it. There are enough crystals down here for everyone. And I should be thankful just to get the opportunity to come and sense the beautiful energy that's down here because it is amazing. And, you know, be out in the sunshine. That should be enough. So, I'm trying just to enjoy the day. And, you know, like, I'm going to make videos with y'all. So if I find something good, I find something good. If I don't, I don't. But if anyone ever comes to upstate South Carolina, give me a holler and I will take you rock mining. Oh, 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 we found something good. Yay. Yay. No. <laughs> oh, no, it is pretty. Okay. Part of it's kind of wonky. But see all the crystals? I'm going to move back a little bit in case the camera see the right there. But I have a lot of these. But see, there's, there's none growing on this side. It's just on the tip. So I'm going to leave it. But that means there may be more here. Because usually where there's one, there's another. But back to what I was saying, I really would love, if you was ever in the area, I would love to take some of my YouTube buddies where I'm running. That would be insane. Insanely fun. You know, I got to meet um, when I went on vacation. Let me see. That's nothing. When I went on vacation. Oh, I hope the rock. Um, to Florida a couple of weeks ago, I got to meet Aquarius Seawitchery. And she is just the coolest girl. She really is. Coolest. Well, she's not a girl. She's a woman. But um, she's a cool chick. And she's an amazing witch. Um, she is just as sweet and smart as she seems on her videos as she is in person. 
she was so nice to me. She took me to the main witchy shop downtown Daytona Beach, and she took me to the witchy shops in the flea market. She bought me lunch. She's just amazing, and her energy is off the charts. So, love you, Stacy. But, um, so that's one person. I've met one person from YouTube University, as I've heard people call it. So, yeah, I just need to meet some more. Yeah, this is, I hear people, I know Brenda says it a lot, but this is an amazing community, and she's right. It is an amazing community. I look forward to watching everyone's videos when I hang out. I don't always have time, but when I have time, I love to watch them. I love to see what y'all are doing, what y'all are up to, and I'm just so grateful. And by the way, thank you to my new subscribers. I'm up to like 200 and something subscribers now. I don't even know how that happened. I can't believe, you know, I'm so honored and a little scared, you know, that I'll have something interesting to say. That that many people want to watch my videos. I know all of them don't watch. You, you may be a, a third or a quarter of that. But still, even if only two or three people watch my videos, I would just be so thankful. Okay. I think I'm really rambling on now. So we're going to break for a little while. And I'll be back. If I find something good, I'll be back. I'm going to go to a new spot. You want to see my hole there first? This is my little hole I got going. Okay, wish me luck. Hey everybody, it's me. Um, so I'm back. I left the rock mine and um, let's see, it is four o'clock. I ran home to take a quick shower. The rock mine is actually about 40 minutes from my house and now I'm taking my teenage daughter to algebra tutoring. So I think I'm actually going to flake out in the car while she's in tutoring because I am that tired. Um, I found a few things, um, I, I didn't have the camera on, and I will, I will show you what I found, I will do that today or tomorrow, I'm not sure, um, or either I'll take a picture of it and add it to the end of this video, but, um, after math tutoring, it's home to make dinner, and that's not too exciting, so I probably won't show you that, but, um, thanks for coming along today, thank you for watching, blessed be.